to my channel. Today's video is featuring this look that I'm wearing now. This look is super dramatic, super glam, so I know it's not going to be for everyone, but I wanted to play with some color today and do something a little different. And if this look is too much for you or you feel like it's not wearable, you can always tone it down a little bit by changing the colors. You can do more neutral colors instead of blue. You can also get rid of the false lashes and wear your natural lashes. There are certain things you can do to tweak this look to make it more you. This tutorial is pretty detailed. I show you how to do pretty much everything except brows and lashes. I do have an in-depth eyelash tutorial on my channel if you guys are interested in that. And I can also upload a brow routine if you guys want to see that. Just let me know down in the comment section. Okay, we're going to jump right in. I hope you guys enjoy. I've already primed my eyelids with the Urban Decay Original Eyeshadow Primer Potion. For my first transition color, I'm going to be applying Uninterrupted by MAC. I'm using a Morphe E28 brush. And this color pretty much matches my skin tone. It's just going to help the other colors blend better, so you don't really have to be too precise with this transition color. I'm applying it all over the upper crease close to the brow bone. I'm going to go in with my second crease color, which is Swiss Chocolate by MAC. I'm going to use a MAC 224 brush and blend in Swiss Chocolate right below the first transition color. You want to make sure you bring each transition color all the way in towards the tear duct. I'm going to take this color here from the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and apply it to my outer V. When you're applying the color, you want to make sure you extend it outward towards the temple. After I've packed on a little bit of the blue, I'm going to go in with the Morphe M507 brush and begin blending some of it out. You want to keep this dark color close to the outer V so that it creates a cat eye effect. I'm going to cut the crease with MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. I'm using a flat concealer brush by NYX. After you've cut the crease, it should look something like this. Now we're going to add our lid color. I'm using the color Faso from the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I'm using a flat shader brush by e.l.f. to apply the lid color. And now to blend in the lid color with the outer V, I'm going to go in with this dark purple from the Juvia's Place Magic Palette. And if you need to, you can go back in with some of your transition color and blend out the edges. I'm going to add a little glitter to the eyelid using the Stila Sunset Cove Magnificent Metal. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the back of my hand and then take my finger and dab it on my eyelid. Next I'm going to create my wing using Max Brush Black Liquid Liner. You want to draw your wing going straight outward. So don't take it up too high. You want to kind of draw a straight line outward to create the wing. Now I'm going to work on the bottom lash line. I'm going to take that same dark blue from the Magic Palette using an angled brush and create kind of a second wing on the lower lash line. And don't worry if it's not perfect because we're going to blend it out. And you just take the remaining color on the angled brush and start placing it on the lower lash line. To start blending the lower lash line out, I'm going to take a small pointed brush. You just want to kind of drag the lower lash line out as if you were creating another wing. Next I'm going to take a pencil brush and start blending a little bit more on the lower lash line.
To help blend the lash line out a little bit more, I'm going to go in with Swiss Chocolate by MAC with the pencil brush and apply it to the lower lash line. To fill in my waterline, I'm going to use a Maybelline Master Smoky Mechanical Eye Pencil in the color Blue Blaze. going to take a smudger brush and blend that in. And now to make the eyeliner stand out even more, I'm going to go in with the MAC Select Cover Up Concealer and fill in right between the two wings. For the brow bone and inner corner highlight, I'm going to take this shimmery purple shade from this Tarte palette. To prime my face, I'm going to use the Hourglass Mineral Veil Oil-Free Primer. For foundation today, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match in the color W8 Creme Cafe. For concealer today, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Concealers in the color Neutral. When you're applying your concealer, you want to be careful not to disturb the bottom lash line. I'm setting my under eye with Sephora's Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in the color Golden Fawn. To set it even more and prevent it from creasing, I'm going to go in with Cover Effects Matte Setting Powder in the color Medium. All right, I'm going to brush that powder off. Time to set the rest of my face with Sephora's Matte Perfection Powder in the color Neutral Toffee. I'm going to contour using Bahama Mama by The Balm. To blend the contour in, I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques brush. contour my forehead a little bit and my jawline. I'm going to use this blush by Tarte called Party. I'm going to bake a little under my cheekbones to clean up the contour. While that's baking, I'm going to apply my highlight. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit and I'm going to mix these two shades together. I'm going to apply a little bit of the highlighter to my nose. I'm going to line my lips with Cork by MAC. For lipstick, I'm going to be using a Dose of Colors Liquid Lips in Knock on Wood and Sand. I'm going to use Knock on Wood on the outer perimeter of my lips and then Sand right in the middle. And to finish off the look, I'm going to be using Cover Effects Mattifying Setting Spray. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of Fix Plus by MAC. Alright you guys, that wraps up this look. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All of those will be linked down below in the description box. 
I want to thank each and every one of you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.